Hi, my name is Damien Schreiner. I'm the Chief Instructor here at K Star Legacy in Birmingham. My assistant today is Simon Whitehead. What we're going to do, we're going to do five sweep, troops, and dumps for a tutorial, to, uh, tutorial for the Warrior Collective. Okay, right now the first thing, when you remember, when you're kind of like practicing any kind of sweep or dump, is your partner has to kind of almost go with it so you can practice getting the movement right. Because obviously, if I'm kind of like with Simon now, if he starts resisting in a real fight where I'm trying to throw him, if he's resisting, I'm not going to throw him, I'm going to do something else, okay? So obviously I need to try and get the movement right. But the first one is, uh, you'll get some people that come marching in to try and grab for the clinch. So I'm going to use his momentum against him. So we're going to come in to grab from there, right? So as he grabs, like the first bit, aiming for my head, I'm going to grab onto this arm. Because he wants to go in this direction, that's where I'm going to help him. So I'm going to pull on his arm this way. My other hand pushes on the head, right? Now as I kind of pull him, it'll kind of try and step his foot to position himself. Okay, so from there, I'm gonna kind of put my foot in the way to stop that from happening. So he comes in, so I'm gonna come through my foot, and then I'm gonna throw him down onto the floor. Okay, and again, so he's coming through, so I'm gonna pull on the arm, up, okay, and drop down onto the floor. So the opposite way, it's a different angle again, so he's coming in, so if you look, so I'll pull onto where his uh, elbow joint is. I wanna use the ridge part of my arm to push onto the head and kind of pivot my body around, and I'm just gonna drop him down. Okay, again, so one more. So he's going to come in from there, so you come down and drop down onto the floor. Right, this one's from a clinch position where I'm going to be in what I class as a bear hook, so I'm kind of locked on from here. Right, and what I'm going to do, I'm going to fire a knee at Simon first. I'm going to knee him because I want him to knee me back. Right, now in a, like a real fight, if I'm kind of stood even, if I knee, I might not know what leg he's going to knee me with, right? So if you look, what I'm doing, I'm going knee, I'm landing my foot quite close to his leg, so it's going to make it difficult for him to knee this, with this leg. So he's only going to use this one. As he uses that knee from there, okay, he's going to throw him over. Okay, and again. So, so I'm going to hold on from there. So I'm going to knee him as he knee, up, and drop down onto the floor, so in the opposite way. So you're locking in. So I knee, land my leg close to him, up, Drop down again, last one. And again, so I'm grabbing around from there, knee, sorry, up, and then throw it down from there. <coughs> right, this is what I'm going to do is when you catch your partner's leg. Right, Simon kicks, so I want to catch from here. Right, this time my arm is going to come across onto the neck, pull the head down, I'm going to lift the leg up so it makes it hard for him to stand up. You straight away from there, up, and drop down onto the floor. Okay, and again, so he throws that kick in, so you catch, arm comes across, come down, up, and drop down onto the floor. So in the opposite way, so he throws a kick, catch a kick, arm across, head down, leg up, and kick. Right, and if you look when I'm kicking as well, to make it a little bit easier, rather than kind of kicking at the thigh, I'm going down by the ankle. Okay, so what will happen is, if you kick quite low, it lifts him up higher, which means it's going to hit the floor a lot harder. And if anyone's that, it happens to them in training, it kind of knocks the wind out of you. Okay, right, this one. Again, by catching the legs, we're going to the front, we're going to go underneath, right? So as he catches the kick now, I'm going to catch, right? From here, take that step across, up, kick down from there. Again, again, so he throws that kick in. So you catch, and if you look, I'm kicking low again to take it down. It's very important as well when you're doing this. When you catch it, don't just kind of go like this for your leg because it's not going to move. You still have to do all the same mechanics. Step that body across. It's going to go right through as you kick in. Okay, so from a different angle. And again, so as he throws that kick, then catch the kick, and then kick from there. Okay, and last one. So he throws a kick, catch up, and kick. Right, last one we'll do now, we're still kind of anticipating their attack. I'm not going to catch it, as he throws a kick now, as he's throwing it, I'm going to step across, so I'm getting out of the way of the kick. At the same time, he comes in, you're up, I'm going to kick that support leg. Okay, and again, so he comes through, going up, I'm going to kick that support leg. So in the opposite way, as he throws that kick, so I'm stepping through so the kick can't land on me. And again, so coming in, up, I'm going to kick from there. Uh, with the left one, as he throws it, don't switch, it's going to take far too long to, to land it in. So if you're doing the left one, you just want to step right through. Okay, and again, just so stepping in, so I'm anticipating that leg from coming. 
Okay, thanks for watching this tutorial on five sweeps, troops and dumps that uh, you potentially do with your partner. Um, personally, I wouldn't advise doing these in actual training, because obviously it's not very nice to keep slamming your partner on the floor, lots of in your sparring and stuff. If you kind of do kind of grab it, emulate doing it, then kind of carry on. Because what can happen from there is if I'm sparring Simon now, if every time he kicks me, I'm blasting him about eight foot into the air, after a bit he's probably not going to kick me. Okay, so in that way then I'm not learning to catch or defend the round those kick. So if he kicks me, I can catch the kick, go from there, and obviously you can carry on sparring. So that way you, you're getting a fast paced sparring, obviously learning techniques from there. You can do like your dump snap in separate training sessions. For more information about myself, please visit my gym's website at www.k-legacy.co.uk. And for more great videos, please check out the Rory Collective YouTube channel.